एरीज मून साइन मेष राशि फॉर एरीज मून साइन द सन एंड मर्करी विल मूव फ्रॉम द सेकेंड सन एंड वीनस विल मूव फ्रॉम सेकेंड टू द थर्ड हाउस एंड देयर फॉर दिस इज गोइंग टू मेक यू वेरी क्यूरियस अबाउट लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स यू विल स्टार्ट यू हैव टू वर्क ऑन योर कम्युनिकेशन एबिलिटीज एंड कम्युनिकेशन स्किल एंड ट्राई टू कीप योर योर सेल्फ अवे फ्रॉम एनी डिस्प्यूट अनलेस इट इज एब्सोल्यूटली नेसेसरी ऑल्सो शॉर्ट डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल में हैपन लेजर ट्रिप्स में हैपन एंड यू मे थिंक अबाउट यू नो रिजॉइसिंग यू मे थिंक अबाउट टेकिंग अ ब्रेक फ्रॉम द हसल एंड बसल ऑफ लाइफ दैट्स ओके एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर प्रैक्टिकल एंड यू नो वट यू आर डूइंग सन एंड मर्करी इन ब्रिक्शरा फर्स्ट इन द सेकेंड एंड देन इन द थर्ड कैन ऑल्सो स्टार्ट योर सेविंग्स टू फ्लो दैट मीन्स यू आर now trying to invest somewhere maybe in real estate maybe in transport my recommendation will be that hold on to that emotion for now and plan and then execute it should not be a knee jerk reaction or uh, a kind of a fear of missing out it's just that if you if you know what you're doing it's okay but if you don't know maybe you need to take a suggestion with someone a financial expert before you take that call do not jump into conclusion you will judge people very quickly don't do that try to remain humble and in your communication try to show that humbleness try to show that that softness otherwise this can unnecessarily make you make people think that you are intimidating taurus now taurus will see sat sun and venus transit in mrikshira on the first house and then it goes into the second house it shows that you want to speak up you want to talk more about yourself so do that but to whom to a healer to a counselor to your parents to someone who will understand your point of view but if you go on blabbering on social media if you go on using platforms that has no real value in returning the favor people may not understand what you are talking then you will only be judged and you will see the negative side of everything this also means that some members of your family may decide to uh, go on a trip uh, maybe someone in the family is going overseas or you are now willing to unfreeze yourself you know the inhibitions goes away and now you want to achieve more in this time frame one of the reason uh, why this emotion will also develop is because you want to expand and to expand now you want to take risk you want to take risk but again mrikshara can bring in lot of illusion so be careful what you are risking why you are risking and the cost of failure and if you can manage all that you are in the good shape gemini if you are a gemini moon sign then you will be one of the most affected zodiac sign because moon is going to see sun venus and then mercury coming together in mrikshara nakshatra especially from the second half of the june which means that uh, there will be lot of eagerness hyperactivity and there will be gains coming in your life that may unsettle you see mars is in aries watch my video of mars transit in aries the link will be in the pinned comment Mars in Aries is going to give you gains but Jupiter wants to create an expense and th- this mrikshara can be a trigger for that emotion because now you have to see things from moon sign now if you are in mrikshara nakshatra that means if your moon is in mrikshara then you will be on a like on the toes there will be lot of activity around you and you would want to change things for good now bring the change if you know that the change is going to bring positivity otherwise you will end up changing things spending money and that will not give you any return so be careful on that angle keep a keep calm and cool approach your anger will be everywhere you will try to be everywhere you will try to take control of the situation by physically being present or at least your mind will be on all those places what you should do is you should meditate and if possible take some healing kark rashi for cancer moon sign the sun and venus will be in the 11th house and then it will go in the 12th house in the mrikshara nakshatra this may make you spend lot of money you will gain some money 
and then you will you may end up losing that so be careful on holding on to the things that come in your life otherwise in order to prove a point in order to compare you may end up losing that value and it also means that you will achieve something and immediately your mind will hop into something else it's like your mind is unsettled you want to achieve you achieve you are receiving things but immediately once you receive your the value goes away and now you want something else by this manner you will not be able to win anything and you will not be able to enjoy so the advice here will be to be more patient be more calm be more composed appreciate what you have at hand and value your substance value things that are with you value your knowledge and then you take it one step forward sudden money gains say someone is uh, trying to give you a project something that you always wanted is happening that can create lot of trouble in your mind because of the moon moon's 12th house which is your subconscious mind is now getting affected heavily by the mrikshira energy this might affect your sleep this might affect your peace of mind therefore meditation tratak dhyan just enjoying the present moment is very important for you before you think of the future first understand that is your present all right now leo zodiac sign for leo moon sign simha rashi you have to observe that your sun which is your rashi lord is going in the mrigashira nakshatra when your last rashi lord goes into mrigashira nakshatra it means that your mind will be someone who wants to achieve lot of things and if you don't get things the way it is you will become rattled frustrated and irritated you need to be more calmer you need to be more practical you need to start accepting things the way they are even with its flaws now if you observe the position of the sun the sun and Merc venus will be in the 10th house and then sun venus mercury will be in the 11th house in this this particular nakshatra and this is going to create a mystical situation around your career you may want to exercise control you want that leadership you want that promotion you want to move quickly in the ladder of the career but the things will move the way they will move and uh, if they don't go your way you might feel bad you might want to run away you might want to explore new things nothing wrong there it's okay to explore new career options it's okay to explore new things just that you should know what you're doing take the help and advice of an elderly if you think you have lost your way virgo now for virgo moon sign kanya rashi this is going to affect the 9th and the 10th house now sun is your 12th lord venus is your second lord now when the 12th and second lord goes in mrikshira a certain travel relocation movement from one place to the other is necessary it might also be that you are stuck at one situation and now you have this desire to move so you will see that there can be sudden travel plans there can be sudden changes or something happening that will force you to maybe take some travel a long distance travel so don't sit at home try to move try to find different areas around you in locality and visit that place if you're elderly just do go for a small walk and go to the nearby temple otherwise you will feel claustrophobic you will feel that you are not reaching your true potential and you would want to do everything to reach your true potential people who are writers people who are into social media people who are into journalism people who are travelers vloggers will see this time as a great boon if you start something related to this during this time the chance of its success is pretty high now for virgo mercury is also coming into this picture that is why 12th lord first lord and second lord all goes into mrikshira be careful about your expenses your expenses can go out of hand libra now in case of libra your ascendant lord goes into this nakshatra mrikshira 
as well as your 11th lord goes into mrikshara in the 8th house so this brings transformation it's a time when for the first half of the transit that means for the first 5 5, 5 to 10 days you may be busy in solving a certain problem in your life and you would know what you are where you are aiming where you are going and soon you will start getting the direction initially you were directionless and now slowly you are finding the right direction and this direction will lead you to success you will get lot of motivation and this is becomes a this becomes a very positive transit for anyone who has moon in the sign of libra now because it is happening in the 8th house it means that your mind will take some time to understand what is happening around you so sometimes my sometimes you just have to go with the flow so for you the suggestion will be to go with the flow and try to see if your investment is giving proper return otherwise in say you want to invest somewhere or you buy, want to buy something just see if that money will be worth it if it is not maybe you have to postpone the plan you will have to take great care of your health during this time and especially if you have diabetes or if you have eye related issue you need to be very careful and try to stay away from harsh sunlight during this time chanting vishnu sahasra naam will be an excellent remedy scorpio now for scorpio if you observe sun is a very important planet it rules your 10th house venus rules your 2nd and 7th house they both go into mrikshara from 7th to 8th you can initiate a travel with your spouse business related travel is very much possible during this time this is the time when you may have to uh, visit your partner's place your in-laws place so my recommendation is to have a dinner together have a lunch together if you are in office start involving yourself with your employees try to arrange a small party or a small get together you know this will build a rapport these energy exchanges will go a long way otherwise you will end up doing energy exchange from places where you don't want to be somebody who is feeding your ego you will try to spend your time more with that person and that will create lot of problems for you because your moon is in scorpio although scorpio is getting aspected by jupiter scorpio is getting full power from the jupiter but when sun and venus is moving and scooping the 8th house and traveling through this nakshatra you are trying to explore all the possibilities of changes in your life now when i say explore you should only explore and not execute because if you execute then there can be a problem on one side this can be a very good thing maybe you're looking for a job you want to float your resume and now people are responding back maybe you're looking for an investor you're looking at places where you have not thought before and now you are getting things so this sun is going to highlight the impossible and will make the impossible possible and will bring things from the impossible corners just give it some time sagittarius dhanu rashi now if you have dhanu rashi or sagittarius moon sign it means that your ascendant lord is in 6th house and then sun and venus which were in 6th house is now going into the 7th house so you may explore the possibilities of marriage new business you will try to launch a new product new business or maybe you want to interact with new people you want to change a team you want to change the circumstance all that will be possible when both sun and venus will be in mrikshara nakshatra but let me tell you one thing your ninth lord is making your sixth lord go combust that means sometimes this is going to create dharma sankat that means where to focus your energy how to focus your energy and the events happening around your spouse may make you run and if you don't plan your day if you don't keep a buffer on everything this can put you into a very difficult situation but if you keep a buffer you will be not at loss you will be in fact uh maybe it's a time to explore new horizons so 
things that are obvious things that are normal things that are supposed to go should be prepared well beforehand so that you have enough time ample of time to do something else put your mind brain and energy into some other activity so a lot of co curricular activity is should be done during this time and when uh, these planets are in mrikshira nakshatra my recommendation will be to go and heal take healing and connect with uh, ngos and serve the society be more humanitarian capricorn capricorn or makar rashi is when moon is in capricorn zodiac sign sun and mercury will be moving from 5th house to 6th house this is a very good time to explore the possibilities of clearing out your debt this is also the time when you will see that your enemies are now coming into the forefront you will understand what the obstacles are and now you will apply your brain to find a solution you would want to control this situation and you will win this transit can bring victory in your life this transit is also a kind of transit that will highlight the issues and its solutions which is going to bring in lot of positive changes and therefore you should focus more on bringing truth in your life and giving away all the toxicity it's a more like a transit of detoxification so if you want to cure yourself if, if you want to heal yourself if you want to go for a say uh, an ayurvedic rejuvenation if you want to join yoga if you want to join a uh, meditation center this is the time this will bring you good luck this will bring you good health but you have to run for it you will have to change the place a very good time for vastu correction great time for interior designer great time for doctors and healers it's also the time when your your looks will change the way you approach your partner the way you think about love is going to change and your relationship with your children will also grow better just support them in their adventure in their career aspirations aquarius now in case of aquarius if you observe the sun is your seventh lord and the sun is going into from fourth to fifth house therefore this is going to bring in changes in your house in your family the way you feel happiness the way you see about life and this is also a time when you will change your home there will be a lot of running around and you may also buy a real estate and move into a new home or a property and maybe shift cities travel for leisure and travel for education so if you are having any visa related problem this may get resolved during this time for aquarius this is more about something that affects your romance affects your married life affects your business but in a way that it is not negative it is something where you are exploring a different side of life and your life's equation may change during this time remember that uh, saturn is on the lagna mars is very positive for you mars being in the third house is giving you lot of courage now when sun comes in the fifth house it makes you fearless this is a great time to heal the solar plexus region it's a great time to heal yourself and it's a great time to learn something it's a great time to learn things on the go so for people who are young who are exploring this is a very good time for education a very good time for ed tech industry if you want to educate yourself in the field of art media sciences uh graphic designing editing or any anything that is connected to art and craft this is a wonderful opportunity that sun and venus pose, uh, pose, uh, brings in the mrikshira nakshatra because mrikshira can fulfill your desire so it's a very desire fulfilling transit for you just that you will see that the circumstances will overpower you so you may have to find a way out you may have to maneuver yourself and fulfill your dreams pisces in case of pisces mean rashi 
the jupiter is in a very good shape jupiter is in the third house aspecting the the seventh house aspecting the ninth house and venus which rules your third house goes into from third and then it moves to fourth house in mrikshya and nakshatra this shows that now you're confident enough and you have knowledge also the aspiration and ambition to fulfill your dreams to follow what you always wanted for you you can also follow your ideal and this is a perfect time where you are putting your mind your energy your soul towards your comfort towards the passion towards fulfilling your aspiration it's a wonderful time for almost everybody who is pisces a pisces moon sign because your moon is going to experience a tremendous amount of force not only exerted by jupiter but also exerted by sun and venus and you would want to bring a change third house is your initiative and through your initiative you will bring changes in your life which will make your life peaceful happier and for people who want to change the job who want to invest in real estate who want to buy a commercial property this can be a transit that gives you the right direction changes in your home will also make you take certain initiative you will take some bold steps